This is the Northampton Conservation Commission for the 14th of March, 2024. The commission is a group of unpaid volunteers who work to protect the natural environment of Northampton. We are concerned with the eight interests defined in the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act, and our duties also include open space acquisition and management. We operate in a way that's consistent with open meeting law requirements. All day, uh, meeting dates, times, and agendas are posted in advance and we invite public comment during our meeting. However, we ask the public to limit their comments to issues that are within our purview. Uh, today is uh, a brief meeting, a continuation of a notice of intent uh, and a couple of requests for certificates of compliance and one request for an extension of an existing order of conditions. Uh, so I'll ask first if there's any general public comment that uh, does not have to do with the case before us today. And if not, uh, Sarah sent out some minutes. Um, and the only thing I could see, there was a, a couple of minor typos, like uh, there was a digit missing when in the reference to uh, of something that happened in the 1990s, but it said the 190s. So, so a couple of minor things like that. Otherwise, looked okay to me. Someone want to make a motion to approve those minutes? Uh, so moved. And a second. Second. Second by David. Uh, all in favor, Sarah, roll call. All right, roll call needed. David? Yes. Beth? Um, I wasn't there, so I think I'm going to abstain, but I, I mean, I trust you all. <laughs> uh, Mason? Yes. Jen? Yes. Paul? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. All right, thank you. All right. Uh, first item is... Uh, a notice of intent for construction of nine solar panel canopies within the riverfront area uh, buffer zone and bordering lands subject to flooding. Um, this on uh, Mount Time Road, uh, the auto salvage place, and the applicant has requested a continuation until April 11th. Uh, shall we make that the first item on April 11th, Sarah? 5.30? Correct. Someone want to make a motion to continue that case till April 11th at 5.30? So moved. And a second? Second. Any further discussion? If not, um, we will continue. All in favor? Uh, Sarah. All right. David? Yes. Beth? Yes. Mason? Yes. Jen? Yes. Paul? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. Unanimous. Thank you. OK. Uh, now we have a request for a certificate of compliance for uh, 595 Haydenville Road. Uh, Sarah, I saw your uh, staff report and photos. Um, is there somebody that's going to address the commission on that? Or uh, do you want to just say a few words, Sarah? Uh, so the the bridge itself looks great. Um, it's stabilized along the sides, but there's the there's large areas of riprap that weren't included in the, the plan set. Um, and it, it appeared from what I could tell, although the river is a little bit high, that it uh, affected land underwater and bank, uh, and that those were impacts not quantified in the in the uh, notice of intent or the order. So I asked for some clarification from the applicant. Um, so you, you don't have to. There's no action needed, but I would just recommend not doing anything with it at this time until that's clarified. All right. I remember that case. It was going to be difficult having the equipment in the roadway and excavating um, what needed to be excavated from there. So uh, they may have run into some issues that uh, we didn't know about at the time. But uh, uh, so we don't need to make a, a motion to continue that and wait. We'll just wait for them to come back. Correct. Yep. OK. Um, and there was a uh, another request for a certificate of compliance, this on uh, Turkey Hill Road. Uh, and I, I know Rachel from Berkshire Design is here um, to talk about this one if she wants to give an overview. Sure. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, I could start just by, you know, I, I did a site visit. Everything's stabilized. Looks really good. I didn't see anything 
unanticipated. Um, we didn't get a full as built for the, the entire project as a whole. So it was a little bit tough to get oriented in some spots, but the erosion control was installed at the, the limit of work line. Uh, and, and that was confirmed when we did the pre-construction visit and, and nothing has shifted since then. The, no work has crept beyond that area. Um, but if the commission does vote to issue a certificate of compliance, that erosion control should all be pulled immediately so it doesn't stay there. All right. Um, so uh, someone want to make a, well, first let me ask, is there any uh, comment or questions from the commissioners? Yeah. Or from members of the public? It, it was nice for a change to do a site visit for something that had been recently completed. We so often get so many requests for certificate of compliance for things done in the 90s where you're, you're uh, at a loss to figure out what happened and what's been going on. But this was a lot more straightforward. Wow. <laughs> good, good. So someone want to make a motion to grant uh, an order of conditions. So moved. And a second? I will. Hello? Any uh, further discussion? If not, all in favor? All right, so roll call, David. Muted, yes. David. <laughs> uh, Beth? Yes. Mason? Yes. Jen? Yes. Paul? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. All right. Unanimous, thank you. And we have an extension um, on Edward Drive, uh, a request for an extension because the uh, project has not been completed. Um, and Sarah included a description in her, in her uh, staff report. Um, any additional information on that? Anything anybody wants to add who might be on the call? Presenter is here. Sir. Is that a go? <laughs> I'm just waiting for... Lovely. Um, hang on, I was just reading a uh, a chat that came through. Um, uh, but if no one is uh, going to speak additionally, uh, everybody has a chance to look at Sarah's uh, staff report. Um, and it seems like the uh, to grant an order for up to three years, is there any reason to do it for less than three years, Sarah? I Travis, did you did you want to talk about the the issues with completion of the project and, and stuff you'd run into? I it, I didn't see any issues with uh, continuing this to allow the both the compensatory storage and the stormwater to be tied into the second phase of the development. But otherwise, the, the permitting gets really complicated. I could give him a quick update on where we are. Okay. Please. I, I thank you. Um, I'm Travis Ward, Development Associates, Managing Agent for. Um, Northwood Development and um, the Atwood Drive projects. 15 Atwood is the building that's currently there now. Um, we um, got a CO uh, in early 2019 for that, uh, for the shell, then continually over the last several years built out um, the spaces within the building. And we have one space left to be built out, fully rented, but uh, Cooley Dickinson, because of uh, COVID factors, um, decided to hold off on building out um, the the space. Um, so they pay for it, they they have it. Um, but COVID is uh, where I'm going to leave with the second building. It affected the last unit uh, with the first building. Now the second building, uh, we were planning on, you know, doing one right after the other. Uh, this thing called COVID happened. And um, what happened, especially in the medical industry, is that um, and some of us, your life experiences will confirm, was that um, some of the older seasoned um, wealth of knowledge type people in the industry um, kind of said, hey, I'm, I've had enough years in here. I'm, I'm going to retire or move on. And at the same time, there was uh, a lot of uh, young people, college people uh, not coming 
up and graduating and getting into the field. So there's that hold um, where um, the industry as a whole um, didn't have a lot of staffing, didn't have a lot of uh, reason financially or uh, staffing wise to move forward with the projects and that affected 33 Atwood. We're at a stage now where that pipeline's being filled, talking to our uh, major clients um, that we feel that we're in some of the other, um, some state agencies, for example, that uh, we see some potential for that building to really start moving forward now. Uh, we're entertaining several lease proposals that may give that some life in the very near future, but certainly not going to sit there for too much longer. Uh, what we basically need in that um, area is about 30, 30 to 40% pre lease, uh, and that'll allow us to move the project forward. And, and as I said, um, the labor pipeline in the medical industry is starting to be fulfilled a little bit. Uh, some of the government agencies that we work with um, have some significant needs in the area, especially in the Northampton community. So um, we feel that, you know, um, we hopefully will be able to take uh, shape on the second project in the not too distant future. No exact timelines, but um, things are looking more positive than they have in the last uh, two years coming out of COVID. So with that, we just request an extension. We have maintained the property. We worked with Sarah earlier in the year um, to clarify this exact process. Is it for the whole project or is it phase by phase? Um, with her help, um, uh, we actually in the spring too, replanted a whole bunch of plantings that may have died due to weather or or salt, things like that. But um, we continue to keep the, the whole project in compliance uh, with the requirements as we go. So, um, you know, we're, we feel we're doing everything we can and should be doing and ask for your support and helping us continue this project through completion. Any questions or comments from commissioners? <clears throat> Any comments or questions from uh, members of the public? Sarah did point out that it seemed like that it had been challenging to have the plantings endure, and that by the time a, an eventual uh, certificate of compliance is issued, the plantings will the, the, will have to comply with uh, the, the plans. Um, but uh, other than that, it seems. Uh, reasonable to ex, uh, extend. So I'll, I'll repeat my earlier question, is there any reason to do it for less than three years? Uh, normally we just re-up for three years, but um, we can do less. Uh, probably not just because of the administrative issues. The, the building hasn't been started, so there there is still some significant work to be done. So still could be done in less time than that, but just providing the full three years seems like it makes sense. Then, uh, someone want to make a motion to uh, grant that extension of the existing order of conditions for Atwood Drive? So moved. moved second. by Mason and a second by Jen. Second. All in favor? Uh, Sarah, roll call. Uh, David? Yes. Beth? Yes. Mason? Yes. Jen? Yes. Paul? Yes. And Kevin? All right, that's uh, uh, the cases before us today. Uh, Sarah, on the agenda, you want to do a, a quick CPA update about which uh, which items uh, that the C CPC is considering are, uh, are ours, uh, things sure. that have to do with the sure. Conservation Commission. Um, so I just wanted to let everyone know that the uh, Office of Planning and Sustainability uh, submitted an application for continuation of the local APR program. And this was first funded, I think about 10 years ago, which allowed both for um, the local match for state and federal APRs, as well as contributions towards local APRs in instances where the, the development value or the size of the property or the, the um, prime farmland soils didn't support the federal program. Um, so we do have some potential properties in the work. So it seemed like a good time to get that going again. <laughs> All right. And I don't have my C CPC uh, list in front of me, but there was uh, two other um, CPC funding 
requests coming that addressed uh, conservation uh, areas? Oh, there was um, it, the ones not submitted by the city. So there was the, the Lathrop community's request to continue their invasives removal program um, on a, a property on, on which a CR is held by the Conservation Commission. Uh, so that will allow them to continue all the, the good work that they've come in for permitting yeah. um, for periodically. And then there wasn't no uh, planned acquisitions at this point. It's been quiet, although there's a lot of things in the works. So hopefully we'll have more on that soon. Okay. All right. Um, any other uh, business? So, uh, other business from me, I wanted to let you know that the uh, Agricultural Commission has invited the CONSCOM to join them on their annual tour of farmland properties. So all of these are properties on which the, uh, the Conservation Commission is, is involved in some way, either by holding the property or a, a CR or an APR involvement in some way, but uh, the commission several years ago decided that this wasn't really part of their core mission to select and work with farmers on a, an ongoing basis. So assign that to the AgCom uh, so that the AgCom would love it if you could join them uh, to visit probably the, the Rukazas farm, uh, which is um, near the Hatfield line, a fairly recent acquisition. Uh, the, uh, the Henry Parsons farm, which is the Mineral Hills, uh, Elwell Organic, and then the, the small farmland at, at Montview, and then potentially maybe some others that don't have any conservation area involvement. And that would be on Monday, April 22nd at 530. Oh. So they, they will drive you around in a bus, and, and we can all <laughs> field visit trip visit farmland and talk about Northampton history. <laughs> So that you okay. said five or five thirty p.m. Correct. Great. So save the date for now, and I'll provide more yeah. details. Okay. When I'm is that Earth Day? I I believe it is. Yes, that's very appreciated. Beautiful, the beautiful thing. Sarah, I would love to do that, and that is vacation week, so I'm out of town, unfortunately. So I can email oh, that to you as well. But okay. If there's ever a talk of changing the date, I would support it, but okay. it's totally okay if not. Get to wrangle some jumping worms. Oh my oh. god, I'm wrong. It's not actually. <laughs> Sorry, I can come. Oh yeah, because it's yeah, it's off this week. So yeah, Patriot says the fifteenth, right? Yes. Sorry, I mixed that up. Yeah, I'm otherwise relieved. it would be a holiday. So. Okay, great. I'm excited. It All right. Okay. Anything else before the committee this evening? If I not, don't. if not, we can let Paul get to his uh, rehearsal. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good to see everybody. Um, and it's nice when we have these short meetings, but it doesn't allow us to have much serious discussion um, as we sometimes are able to do. Um, right. So right. sometime pretty soon we'll have a more meaty meeting uh, with lots to chew on. Yeah, not, <laughs> um, we will be meeting the 28th. We do have a, a permit um, for Mass DOT under consideration. I We can do a site visit for that one if, if people are interested, but it, it's on the side of the road on Route 10. It might not be that exciting. Um, <laughs> and just I would have typically just bounced these items to the next meeting, but the Atwood Drive order would have expired prior to that. So we had uh -huh. to pick that up. All right. All right. All right. But short well, meetings are good. At least with Zoom, it's not a hardship. Uh, people just have to get on their computer instead of getting in their car. So um, uh, just <laughs> always fine to have a brief meeting. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Thanks for yeah. having me. Oh, bye I bye. guess we need a motion. Motion to adjourn. Oh. Chair's so, motion so to adjourn. So, and a second. All right. Very good. See ya. <laughs>